Good day, everyone, and welcome back to TMAC FPV, your home for your journey to better FPV fun, flights, and racing stuff. Today, we're going to be comparing two right hand circularly polarized directional antenna the True RC Crossair on the left and the Video Aerial Systems Pepper Box on the right. It's going to be an antenna shootout. Stay tuned. Okay, here are the manufacturer's specs for both antenna. The True RC Crosshair has got a gain of 10 dB, whereas the Pepper Box has a gain of 13. The axial ratio for the True RC is greater than or equal to 0.9, whereas the Pepper Box has an, has an advertised axial ratio of 1.0, and the beam width of the True RC is 120 degrees, whereas the beam width of the Pepper Box is 160 degrees. Of note, the Pepper Box is advertised as an antenna for long range flight or low altitude flight. Low altitude is a relative term. Basically, it's saying that the elevation uh, that the Pepper Box is good at is less than or equal to 60 degrees of elevation, which just means, which is pretty high. And it just means that uh, you don't want to be flying directly overhead or above 60 degrees uh, in proximity flight when you're using a pepper box unless you actually tilt your head back so that, and point the antenna uh, where you're flying. Significance of these parameters is that for gain, every 3 dB increase in gain is equivalent to doubling the power. That's why it's actually more efficient to use a directional antenna with high gain than it is to try and increase power of your video transmitter. Uh, the axial ratio is just an indication of a circularly polarized antenna's ability to reject destructive interference due to reflections from uh, pavement, buildings, uh, tree canopies, things of that nature. Uh, an axial ratio of 1.0 is considered to be perfectly circularly polarized. The closer to 1, the better it does at rejecting destructive interference. Larger beam width is basically uh, means that you've got a larger area to fly in with good video reception. So according to these manufacturer specifications, the Pepper Box antenna should actually outperform the True RC Crosshair. We'll see if that's the case. The way we're going to test both of these antennas is in the following manner. We're going to be using the same quad, the Flex RC Ascent X 2.5 inch. Therefore, it's going to have the same video transmitter, the AKK Oscars Backpack or the OB VTX. We're going to be using the same power. Uh, the VTX is going to be set at 200 milliwatts and it's going to stay there. The same frequency band and channel, that being 5805 megahertz. We're going to use the same flight pattern for both antenna. I'm not going to change my pilot location from one antenna to the other. I'm going to, that's going to stay the same. We're going to, it's going to be conducted during the same time of day because they're going to be back-to-back -back flights. When one flight's over, we're going to land, swap the antennas, and continue with the next flight. The goggles I'm going to use are the Am Amway Commander V1 goggles. On the right-hand side of the goggles, we're going to have the Amway right-hand circularly polarized cloverleaf antenna. The antenna on the left hand side is the one that we're going to change from the True RC Crosshair right hand circularly polarized antenna on the first flight. When that's done, we're going to swap it out with the Video Aerial Systems Pepper Box antenna. Those are going to be on the left hand side. The flights are going to be compared using side by side videos so that you can be the judge of which one outperforms the other, if at all. If you liked the video, Give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to your TMAC FPV channel. We appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. Happy flying, and let's get to the shootout. All right, this is just an overview of the flight path that we're going to be taking when we're doing this antenna shootout. These trees are what I'm going to be flying around. Uh, on the right hand side, there's a little cove. I expect video to drop out at some point after those trees. I'm going to come back and fly near or around one of these telephone poles and then come back to the starting position. Let's go! It's fly time! 